Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Afro Plus Law modding tutorials and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to play custom sound effects and custom music. When I say custom I don't really mean that you can change the custom music or maybe make your own but rather that you can play the music which already exists in the game and just play it at different times. The same goes for sound effects. In this example what I'll be doing is first of all changing the hurt sound of Isaac so instead of him grunting we're gonna be playing a derp sound and the other thing we'll be doing is just change the every ambient music to the chest music. So that should be quite fun. Let's get started. The first thing we do of course is just register the mod. This is something we've done a million times before so it should be quite self-explanatory at this point. The next thing I would like to focus on are the three callbacks. The first callback is an MC post render callback and essentially this function debug text is called every render frame and we're just putting something on the screen to indicate what's going on so it's a bit easier for us to code. The next one is MC post update and essentially this function triggers about every frame and in this function what we'll be doing is checking if Isaac is getting hurt and we'll be checking if the current music is the chess music and if it isn't we'll be playing then the chess music. The next one or the last one is MC entity take damage callback so when our player takes damage we'll be calling the damage function. So let's focus on this one first it's in the shortest and the easiest. If you look in the damage function you can see that the first thing is something new, the SFX manager. You can also see the music manager and essentially these two are new objects which allow you to tamper with sound effects and music. You can essentially play new sound effects or music, you can stop playing it, you can overlay them, you can transition them, just a bunch of things which I'll show you later on in the actual documentation or the reference manual. But for now what we'll be doing in when Isaac takes damage we'll play the sound effect of a derp. So when Isaac gets hits, we're just play derp, you know, th that's it. Not, not, nothing really spectacular, but you can see that there are other parameters in here as well. The second parameter is the volume, so how loud it is. I believe this number has to be between 0 and 1, and it's a floating point number, that means it can also be a decibel. Something like 0 0.5 could also work, at least that's what the reference manual tells me. The third parameter is the frame delay, so how long will it be from when you call this function to when the sound will actually play. So if you put something like 60 here, that means that it will be 60 frames before we actually get hit and when we hit, when we hear the music. And because the game, the game runs at 60 frames per second, that means that 60 frames is about one second. The fourth one is whatever we want this sound effect to loop or not. If you want something to loop that means that it just keeps playing continuously. In this case we don't want that so that's why we put false. The last one is the pitch or maybe how high it is or how low it is. So it can be like derp or it can be like derp, you know, that, that's a very visual uh, representation. But essentially because we want everything to be normal I believe the number has to be 1.0. Of course you can play around with it to, to whatever you want to your liking. I found that 1.0 in this particular case works well or at least that's the natural sound that you hear when you're playing the game. The next uh, function here is the db which is called about every mc post update, so about every frame. The first thing we get is the music manager and like, like previously, like sfx manager, uh, this is used to, to change the music, play the music, transition the music or whatever else you want to do. In this case what we do is get the current music ID, so we're checking which music is playing and if it's not the chest music then we play the chest music. And it might be odd, why are we kinda doing this all over again? And essentially there's a weird bug, I already believe it's a bug, when you leave the room uh, it's gonna stop playing, it's gonna start playing the old basement theme or on whichever floor you're on, which means you kinda have to keep replaying it. And it's a bit odd because when you leave the room this music chest is gonna be replayed and like I said that's probably a bug, it's something that's probably gonna be fixed, but for the time being this is how you use this function. You just say music play, then the music, the enumerator, I'm gonna show you what the enumerators are, and then it's the volume. So 1.0 is maximum volume or maybe normal volume, whatever your game's volume is, and then 0 would be quiet or just silent. Then again we get the SFX manager and then we check if the sound effect of Isaac getting hurt is playing. And this might be odd, why are we checking if Isaac is getting hurt in this function, why don't we just kind of stop it in the damage function? That's a good question and it's essentially how the callbacks work. The damage callback doesn't really work after you get hit but before you get hit or rather when you get hit but before you take the damage. And this Isaac sound is only played after you actually take damage. That might seem a bit odd, but essentially what we have to check, at least for this particular sound effect, is in the post update and whenever this is playing, whenever the sound effect of Isaac getting hurt is playing, we just tell it to stop. Stop playing the sound effect, we don't want to hear it, because we already have our own in this case. 
and we just set the debug text to something else and we basically check how, how things look and, and maybe which current track is playing and then we can gauge that and you can use that in your own code you don't have to this is something I've used to kind of check what's going on and in this case what I put in the debug text is just whatever the sound Isaac heard granting so whenever Isaac is getting hit is playing and I put this here because I wanted to know if this actually triggers when you're in the damage function or if that triggers in the MC post update and of course like I told you and see this happens in the MC post update and you kind of have to check it here instead of here. So with that said it was kind of long-winded let's hop into the game and I'll show you that this actually works. So for the time being the music is muted just so I can actually talk and focus on what I'm saying but when I unmute the music I'll go quiet and I'll show you that the, the music in the background is the chest music and when we take damage we hear the derp sound. So in three two one Okay, sorry for the rough transition because now we're in the docks, but essentially you can saw that it worked and of course I just want to demonstrate it because I think it's a bit more fun for you to actually see the end result. But now that we kind of covered that and I showed you that, I want to show you some of the other functions which already exist in the Music Manager and the SFX Manager. You can see that in Music Manager class, which you can find under Classes, Class List and then the Music Manager, you have a bunch of functions like Play, you can fade in the music, you can crossfade, so essentially transition to the music, you can cue the music, so when the current track stops playing, you're gonna play the next one, you can fade out the music so it goes quiet, you can pause it, resume it, just a bunch of things you can really do with this and it's a great fun because it does give you a lot of control over the what's going on in the game. The next one is the F SFX manager and this is very similar to before, you essentially you're just playing sound effects and if you really want to know what the sound effects IDs are or maybe what the music IDs are, you can click this button here on the sound effect or just the music ID. I just already did that and you can see that there are a bunch of sound effects. These are essentially all of the sound effects which exist in the game. Sound effect, grunt, monster grunt, angry gurgle, just a, a few too many for me to go through every single one of them. But you can see that you can play a bunch of things here and it's really fun to actually kind of test it out and see what's going on. And of course the music is very similar to this, you can have the music knoll, the music basement, the cathedral, the shawl, the jingle treasure room. There's a for different jingles for treasure rooms. I didn't even know that, but I'm glad to know that now. <laughs> so so yeah, just a bunch of things you can really kind of play around with. And, and that should kind of wrap up this video. So we're at the end of this video as well and I'm sorry kind of for the hasty ending, I never really know what to say at the end. Usually I want to say something profound, something that will have like an impact or maybe something that will summarize it, but what I do is sometimes I just blabber and that's not a good thing, so I just decide that I should just kind of quit it and just stop and just say okay that's it you know and just, just finish it. That's maybe n n neither here or there because that's totally unrelated to the video, but it, the, the, this new addition, the music and the sound effects does allow us to do so many great things because you can essentially add your own spices to the game or maybe you can change some sound effects around, you can play some scary music when you're fighting your own bosses, maybe when we'll be able to make our own bosses on our floors, uh, we'll be able to incorporate some of this together. What's great about this is that it doesn't just allow us to play the music or maybe just to stop the music, it does allow us to kind of mix and match things together. We can play, let, let's say we get to the void and instead of just one track being played we can change the track which is being played in the void depending on which room we're in and I think that's very exciting because uh, not exciting, but just cool, you know, because I think Void is already a floor which maybe lacks a bit of personality and the fact that we can kind of already amend that via this particular API with this addition is just a nice thing indeed. And I'm, I'm not I'm not doubting that eventually they're also gonna get custom SFX or maybe custom music support so we'll be able to make our own sound effects and our own music and when that happens I think this will really pop off. But the fact we have two separate objects and classes which kind of take care of this music or maybe the sound is a great thing because it does allow us or maybe for the, the, the point of entry is a much more easier than it was before because previously it was possible to kind of finagle and play some sound effects but it wasn't really straightforward. At least now, uh, when we have these particular classes, at least we know how to use them and how to use them appropriately when we want to do something with them. With that said guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you next time.